What is going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 14 of the THC Samuel Show. It's been so much fun talking about different artists, different pieces, different mediums, why we all collect art, what's just fun about different mediums. It's been a lot of fun so far uh, doing the show for you guys. I've been enjoying every episode. If you guys are enjoying the content, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button down there. I'm throwing that bar uh, in every video. You know, that subscribe bar. I would super appreciate it. The channel's starting to grow you know, slowly, which is super, super sick. I'm glad more and more people are seeing these videos. Videos. So today we're going to talk about the second cause piece uh, that I have in my collection and uh, that's been featured on the channel. Over here, hiding out, you can see we got Along the Way and uh, if you haven't seen that episode, go back a few videos ago and we talked about cause along the way. Today we're talking about a different piece that was released last year in 2020 and it is the Black Cause Take. So here's that box. Can't wait to get into this one with you guys and uh, it's just a really fun piece, a lot of fun detail and uh, we'll get into Cause Take next. So again, uh, this episode is about Take by Cause. And uh, hopefully, uh, if you guys have made it uh, this far in the channel, or if you guys are watching this far into the videos, you guys are kind of into art at least a little bit and kind of know who Cause is. Uh, his name is actually Brian Donnelly. There's a lot of information out there about him. He's been uh, probably one of the most famous artists uh, of our generation, I say of our generation, of my generation. I don't know how old everybody is who's watching this, um, but he's really just a legend. And uh, you can watch that previous episode for kind of like a more, I guess, longer breakdown of kind of uh, some background about Cause. But really, he started in New York. Um, he started really uh, doing some really fun stuff. He would uh, have the key to uh, bus stop signs where they would they have the advertisements on the side of a bus stop, and he would actually unlock those uh, giant uh, advertisements and put his characters, put his companions, and put uh, put his different pieces uh, in with those advertisements. And then over time, in the 80s and 90s, uh, his work just started to become more and more popular. And uh, in the early 2000s, he started producing uh, his sculpture and his toy sculptures and uh, his work has just gotten more and more popular. So last year he dropped Take and uh, I think it came out in three different colors, uh, black, blue, pink, and uh, there might be another colorway but I think it was just those three. Um, I scooped the black one uh, so it's got the little pink outline on the box here so we'll go through a little bit more about the piece and then we'll get into a close-up like we do in every video. Super excited to show you guys this. So um, before we kind of get into that close-up and before I, I'll show you guys a little bit before I peek and uh, give you guys a full uh, showcase of take. Uh, I wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit more information about the piece. Again, it came out in 2020, and I'm getting some information uh, online um, from a website called artsy.net. They actually have one of these available, and uh, it's around 1200 bucks. And actually, before I even get to more about the piece, I want to give a huge, huge shout out to my homies and friends at Two Sided Gallery in California. They're an awesome spot and have a ton of different artwork. They feature glass, they feature toys, collectibles. Like the, the amount of artwork that they have is awesome. They just opened up last year. Would definitely suggest hitting them up. They're the whole reason why I have Take. Uh, they opened up last year and I was begging them to buy a piece and uh, they actually sent me Take as a birthday gift. So I was super, super grateful and super excited about that. So I got Take as a birthday gift. If you guys are looking for great places to buy art, definitely go hit up Two Sided Gallery. You can find them on Instagram. Uh, it's with the, the number two and that's Two Sided Gallery. So just wanted to give the homies a shout out. So back to cause take, and again, I'm just getting some information off the site. Um, it's telling us that it's about uh, 14 inches tall. It's 13.4 inches by 6 inches. So it's a pretty tall sculpture. You know, it's over a foot a foot tall. And uh, really, uh, I'll just read the description because I think it's uh, pretty fantastic just straight from uh, this gallery page. Uh, in the sculpture take, Cause BFF holds the child companion defensively, pulling it back in a gesture of protectiveness as if to protect someone else from touching it while the child looks onto the ground in intimidation. Um, and then it goes on to explain that Cause is a leading artist of his generation. He's based in Brooklyn and uh, that his work has been featured all over the world and that his art possesses sophisticated humor, thoughtful critique of consumer products, uh, bold-minded graphic language, and a lot of other stuff. I mean, Cause is really the man. So that was actually pretty interesting to read. I have never read kind of this description of what Take was. Um, Cause um, definitely has kind of different, and obviously all artwork, but Cause as well has kind of different interpretations of what the piece means to you and I always looked at uh, take at least especially before reading that is just like 
a little bit of what that uh, description kind of explained, where uh, the major BFF is like carrying that little companion, just like bringing him along, kind of like in this one over here and along the way, how they're kind of like just holding on to each other, just kind of helping each other, I guess, push, push on and push forward. Take is kind of similar in that regard, because we've got the small companion that's like obviously not like fully grown yet, and then we got the big BFF who's kind of like, you know, come here, like everything's good, and maybe like pulling him out of a shitty situation, or just helping him out, or who knows, but he's like just like picking him up and saying, hey, you know, come with me. So the piece is pretty cool. Um, so with this next clip, let's do a close-up. I can't wait to show you guys. And then, and then actually we'll also do a close-up of the box as, uh, as usual. So guys, this is Take. So it's a really awesome figure, and uh, I've seen uh, the larger installations. Uh, he might still have an installation at uh, the Brooklyn Museum. I don't remember, but there was a new cause exhibit. Uh, I think it was at the Brooklyn Museum. So I'm not out there. Um, I'm not going to New York anytime soon. But if you guys are, definitely check out his work. And uh, the real, not the real life, but the large versions of Cause's sculptures are insane. I mean, I can't wait. He makes them in a variety of sizes, obviously, but these, these kind of small, regular figurines are the most affordable to collect and kind of have in your house compared to the larger pieces, but then he also makes kind of, I think, four-foot range companions, and those are super, super cool. Um, eventually, fingers crossed, knock on wood, I will be able to grab one of those uh, larger cause companions, one of those four-foot ones eventually, uh, but this is Take, and again, really big shout-out to the homies at Two-Sided Gallery. Uh, super sick piece. Cause is one of my favorite artists. Next on my list really is to hopefully get uh, a print or something else by Cause. I really want to, uh, over time, increase uh, my collection of Cause work. He's one of my favorite artists. Um, so next, we'll get into a close-up. And again, like I said, uh, maybe you guys uh, kind of get what I was trying to say in my explanation. You get the big BFF, and he's kind of picking up the little companion. And again, the companion is Cause's uh, classic character. And the companion is kind of like, uh, from my understanding at least, and also if you guys have any other opinions or you know anything else about Cause or anything like that, please hit those comments. This, the whole point of this channel is to start a conversation with everybody about art and why everybody collects it and what pieces, you know, speak to you and why you collect certain work and to educate everybody hopefully and just to make it a really fun conversation about art so if you know something about this piece that I don't or maybe that I didn't cover in this video please hit those comments but I always looked at take um, like that and really like I said the companion uh, config figure by cause is really uh, a human you know it's really like his take on just being a human and humanity and the regular companions are uh, covered in his kind of classic character style like you see over here with along the way. And then he also makes flayed style. I don't have a flayed yet, but flayed are basically when like you can kind of see the inner workings are kind of split in half. And you can see kind of like basically like if a human, uh, if you could like see all of like the inside of like human anatomy with like the layers of skin and bone and everything. And uh, it basically just takes the piece to another layer uh, and to another level. And uh, just shows that like the facade, or not the facade, but the the face and the the external I guess presence that people give outside in the world is one thing and then there's also another layer to everybody that's the internal that not everybody sees and that people are complicated and I think a lot of causes work uh, just speaks to being a human so with that enough talking let's get into a close-up let's go Okay guys, so before we get into a close-up of Take itself, uh, I always like to do a close-up and show you guys the box. Uh, Take has a super cool box. You can actually hopefully see that, <clears throat> excuse me, that uh, that actually has a little bit of texture to it with the classic uh, cause, like the X's on the hands and the eyes of the companion. So there we go, and we see the cause BFF. And the BFF, that's what that character is called. These, uh, the one that he's holding, the smaller companion, that's the classic companion, and then the, that's the BFF. So just to kind of clarify uh, from that pe previous clip. But here's the front of the box, and then let me bring you all the way to the top where you get the title. And then in the top corner you get cause 20, cause take, open edition. And then let me show you guys the back. So nothing too crazy back here guys, just your standard Medicom uh, back, uh, back of the box. And again, just make sure you're always buying um, your cause work or really any of your artwork from reputable sources. Would never want to hear about someone buying a fake. I'm a part of a few Facebook groups online and people are always buying fake cause work. So uh, hopefully you can find yourself a good gallery, uh, a good spot to, uh, to purchase your artwork from. Next, let's do a close up. Can't wait to show you guys. Okay guys, so here we go. Uh, always gonna start from the bottom. You got the classic X on the feet. 
and then we go up and this toy is made of vinyl and there we have oh let me get my camera to zoom properly will it oh sorry guys take you on a little zoom in trip but you see the BFF there we go holding that small companion and the small companions like that description said you know just kind of like shit like relieved you know like the big guys pulling them out of you know some kind of shitty situation and then you see behind them you got along the way my other uh, cause piece and I have one other companion but you kind of see the vibe of cause work which in my mind is really just uh, being human and then on top of that helping each other out that's really a big theme so let me do another little close-up for you guys and uh, let's get into it okay so one more time guys let's start at the bottom and I think some of the coolest aspects of owning some of the small toys is that you can get you know just have some of causes work in your house and not have the four foot sculpture or not you know obviously spend the you know millions or hundreds of thousands of dollars that it would be to have uh, one of his you know regular traditional sculptures in your house so here is that close-up of take and again I think the just the texture and the shape it's just <laughs> super cool and uh, just brings uh, a lot of emotion a lot of fun and like I said in that previous clip I think Cause's work is really about being human. So here's that little 360, and you can see there's what the regular kind of companion looks like. Well, that's not the traditional, that's the along the way, but you can kind of see what the full size looks like. And then here's the 360 where the BFF is uh, just picking them up and taking them out of that, the, that shitty situation. So you get that full 360, and uh, also the difference in the sheen uh, and like the, just the color, the little bit of uh, shine that you get on on take is uh, is super cool. Nice little contrast when you have them uh, sitting next to each other. So I hope you guys are liking this episode. So real quick guys, before we end this episode, I always want to show you guys what the bottom of the feet look like. That's a very important part of Cause work. So there you see Cause 20 take, Medicom Toy China. Uh, the toys are made in China by Medicom Toy. So just another little verification there for you guys. Hope everyone out there is having a great weekend. This is Take by the Legend Cause. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This was episode 14 of the THC Samuel Show. Uh, in this episode, we got to really break down another cause piece. Uh, in a previous episode, we talked about Along the Way right here. But in this episode, we got to talk about Take by Cause, which came out last year in 2020. Got to take a look at the box and kind of a close-up of the whole piece, a little description of Cause. Um, I gave a little explanation from artsy.net kind of about the piece and again shout out to artsy.net and also shout out to uh, Two Sided Gallery where I scooped this piece. Um, you can find them online, StockX, uh, there are a few places online where uh, if you're interested in uh, scooping one or finding one to buy for your own collection where you can find them. And again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys have been enjoying the content, please do me a huge favor. Smash that subscribe button. Hit that like button. The more people that are hitting that thumbs up helps me grow the channel, helps more people see the video, helps more people talk about art, learn about art. And uh, again, that's really just the main goal. So I don't know whenever you guys are going to be watching this, uh, but thank you. Good morning, good evening, whenever. Peace out. Till next time.